Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today I'm going to do the what's next on Jermel Charlo, the unified super welterweight champion at 154 pounds. He's coming off of a hard fight draw with Brian Castaño as they attempted, as he attempted to become the undisputed champion at 154 pounds. Um, you know, it ended up being a really good fight. They went, they went at it. Uh, he hurt Charlo early. I mean, he hurt Castaño early and later in the fight, but Castaño in the middle rounds really, really took over the fight. Um, you know, well, after actually around round three, after he got hurt, he took over, kind of took over the fight in terms of just landing more and outworking Charlo. And I had it after nine rounds. I had Castaño winning seven to two. But uh, Charlo closed and swept the last three rounds, and um, that made the fight close enough to call it a draw. So, um, you know, I, it, it, I didn't have a problem with it being a draw, but I, I did think that Castaño won the fight, but it was close. And, um, you know, there were some close rounds in there. So, uh, you know, it, it definitely was a close fight. So, anyways... Um, you know, now the big question is what's next for Jamel Charlo? You know, obviously a rematch has been discussed, but um, they, you know, Castaño said something that I believe could be true, that um, they might have to make mandatories first and then uh, reconvene next year, you know. Um, I know the IBF mandatory uh, has been laid down. That IBF has said that he has to fight, uh, that Charlo has to make his IBF mandatory next. Now, Charlo could request that fight go to an interim title fight, you know, uh, between the top two contenders, and then the winner gets him early next year for the for the IBF championship or for the unified title if he wants really wants to fight with um, what's his name Castaño next. But um, we gotta wait and see. You know, it's not a bad. I I, I want to see that that matchup. I want to see that fight, but I also want it to be for undisputed. Um, you know, I think these guys do need to determine who the best guy is, whether undisputed's on the line or not. But I hope it is. So we'll see. But uh, Charlo's number one, Castaño's number two, number three for is Erickson Lubin, which will be a rematch for Charlo as well. A guy he knocked out in 2017 in the first round. Now. He caught Lubin cold, but Lubin has absolutely worked his way back in and is the WBC's number one contender right now. But the WBC has become so corrupt the last few years, excuse me, that they do not enforce their mandatories all the time. So the WBC could enforce Lubin to fight Charlo next in a rematch. Charlo has said he doesn't really want to fight Lubin again, but, um, you know, if he has to, to hold on to his belts, then he would. So we're going to see. We're going to see what goes down with that, you know. Um, I think it's possible that Lubin could be his next opponent later in the year. Lubin's coming off of a big win. He knocked out Jason Rosario impressively um, on the Gervonta Davis undercard. So I think uh, it's, you know, I, I always thought in the first fight anyways that Lubin – I picked Lubin to win the first fight with, or to win that fight in 17 against Charlo, but he got caught cold in the first round, and we never got to see what could have happened, you know. But um, I think it's an interesting matchup, and I hope. Excuse me. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. I'm still leaning more towards the no, but I wouldn't be surprised. Number four is Arizona Lara, the WBA regular champion. Now, Lara moved up and captured the regular title at 160 also at middleweight, so he holds belts at both weight classes right now. Um, you know, I think if Charlo doesn't fight Castaño next, it's pro he's probably going to make a mandatory. But, I mean, why not fight Lara? I've been saying that for a while, but obviously Charlo is not confident that he can beat Lara, or I think he would have fought him already. So I don't think Lara's on his radar, but I, I would love to see that fight. So we just got, you know, he definitely is an option, but I don't know if it's an option that Charlo's going to want to do while he waits around for um, the rematch with, with Castaño. You know, I, I really think uh, mandatories, uh, you know, he's going to choose mandatories over fighting uh, Lara. Number five is Jarrett Hurd, the former unified champ. Hurd just lost at uh, at a at 160 to Luis Arias. He's not on the radar. That'd be high risk, low reward for Charlo, and he's not going to do it. Um, number six is Tony Harrison, which would be a third fight between these two. Harrison's coming off of a draw in his comeback fight from 
when he lost the rematch to Charlo. There's no point in this right now. Charlo stopped them in their rematch. There's no point in Charlo giving him a third fight right now. Um, even though I wouldn't completely rule it out, I just don't think there's a point. Um, number seven is uh, Tim Zhu. Charlo's not going to fight Tim Zhu. I think Tim Zhu's highest ranking is actually in the WBO, and uh, it, which Castaño holds that belt. So Charlo's not going to not going to fight him unless he were to have to, and he doesn't have to. Number eight is uh, Mon Monaganov, I think, and I don't think Charlo's looking at him at all. He's coming off a win over Liam Smith. Um, number nine is Sebastian Fundora. Charlo's not going to take the risk on this guy unless he has to, and he doesn't have to, so I don't see it. And then rounding out the top 10 is uh, Jason Rosario, which would be a rematch uh, that doesn't need to happen. Rosario lost to Erickson Lubin in June, got knocked out against him after getting knocked out against Charlo last year, so no point in these two guys locking horns, so I don't see it. Um, I think Charlo... In my opinion, what is he going to do next? I think there's a good chance that him and Castaño go back at it. I think the governing bodies might allow that to happen, and they could just make some interim title fights. Um, but I also think Charlo might have to face Erickson Lubin. I think Lara's a possibility as well. Um, but I think it, it, it could be one of those three guys. you know. I, or, or Charlo would make his IBF uh, mandatory. I can't remember the guy's name. I know he's undefeated, but I can't remember his name. So that's a possibility as well. So just got to wait around and see what the what the governing bodies decide um, and what Charlo um, really wants to do. But I'm hoping it's a rematch with Castaño. But if not, um, it's going to be a mandatory with Lubin or his IBF mandatory. Or we could see um, him and Lara, uh, at, you know, maybe. So we'll see. But that's the what's next on Jermel Charlo, the unified super welterweight champion at 154. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.